Hi, I'm Laura Condor, Fire and Life Safety Educator of the North Charleston Fire Department. And it's officially hurricane season. Today, we're gonna to be talking about our emergency preparedness kit, things you should have just in case. Whether you stay at home or you leave to evacuate, it is recommended that you have one gallon of water per person for each day for at least three days. Food items are a requirement for our emergency preparedness kit. You need to pack non-perishable food, as in canned goods, powdered formula, or squeezy packs. If you do have canned goods, make sure you either have a can opener or you have cans that have pop tabs. And don't forget your furry friends. Make sure that you have enough food items for your animals. If injuries occur, having a first aid kit is important. First aid kits can be very basic. You can buy them from stores or you can create your own. Items in your first aid kit can be bandages, wraps, thermal blankets, cold and hot packs. During power outages, you will definitely need flashlights and lanterns. We do not suggest lighting candles as is a fire hazard. Make sure that the batteries are charged and new or you have a rechargeable flashlights and lanterns. Something else to think about is portable chargers and cords and accessories for your portable devices. If you are traveling with young children, having non-electronic items will be important to have in your emergency kit, such as coloring books, crayons, crossword puzzles, something that does not require a battery. Hygiene products like deodorant, toothpaste, and showering products are something you and your family are going to want. Trust me, you might be stuck together for quite some time. If you have prescription medication, you need at least a week's supply in your emergency kit. Other essential items to have in your emergency kit is going to be a handheld radio in case you lose power, a whistle in case you are stuck and need assistance, and some form of multi-tool. A sleeping bag and a change of clothes is something that you will need in case you have to go to a shelter. An atlas map or a road map is essential to have in case you are traveling and you do not have cell phone reception. All these items need to be kept in a duffel bag or a container that you have ready to go at any moment all year long. Go back and check items every six months to make sure nothing has expired, especially when it comes to food. Update your kits as members in your family change. And remember, be prepared and be NCFD safe.